Hey, greetings to you, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, I pray that you're having a wonderful day today. The Lord was speaking this to me, and he was saying that there is going to be a power switch that turns on within you. And he was specifically talking about like a light switch that just flips on. For those of you who are open to the illumination of the Holy Spirit that lives within you, he is going to ignite that power source and give you revelation, things that you have not seen before. And as I was receiving this, actually right before I received all of that, that I had a vision vision and I saw this door and I saw a person walking to open this door. Now, the number on the front of the door was number 19. And I'm actually going to share a few um, other messages about numbers here coming up because they are from the Lord when they are from the Lord. And so I have some things to share with you about that. But first, let's just talk about the number 19. And please, in the comments, you don't have to say all of the numbers that you see. I just really encourage you to seek the Lord and to ask him, what are you showing me in this? But like I said, then I'm going to go a little bit further in this in another video. But for now, let's talk about the number 19. Now, that's a number that the Lord has given my husband and myself years ago in a dream, probably over 10 years ago. I had a dream of the number 19 and at the time I didn't know what it meant and I actually saw it on the door at that time too. It was a different door. Um, but the number 19 means the end of one thing and the beginning of another thing simultaneously. And so that's what the Lord is saying right now that there are some things that are ending but there is something else that's beginning at the same time. Now that actually reminds me of um, a message that was released not that long ago about stop focusing so much on the past or what you have lost, but really embracing the gain that you can receive from that. And so as the Lord is talking about the end of one thing and the beginning of the other, then he is saying that he really wants you to embrace what the new beginning is there for you. And I have a couple of scriptures that we're going to go over today about that. Um, but also with the ending, why it's important to embrace the new simultaneously is because whatever is the end, whatever it may be for you, then if you don't, if you're not open and you're not ready to embrace the new, then you can just, the thing can be ended and, and it just drops. It kind of just drops dead without the life that can come forth from it. So the Lord wants you to be very mindful of that. And he wants you to really pay attention to what it is that he's trying to offer you, what it is that he has to show you next. So, okay, now we're talking about, again, the illumination of things and also the end and the beginning. Um, let's look at Psalms 119. And now this is how the Lord was speaking to me about this. He gave me a couple scriptures. And now every time that I get a number, the Lord does not give me um, a scripture that's directly correlated with it. Yes, I'm sure there are. People always try to say, you have to have that scripture that um, is the same number or that lines up with that number. There will be verses in scriptures that line up with it, but not necessarily the number, quote unquote, if you will. But anytime the Lord speaks something to you, there will be a verse, there will be a scripture, there will be evidence of it in his word. You may not see it right then. You may not know it right then immediately, but you better believe there is going to be something that confirms that. And sometimes the confirmation comes in other ways as well. So, okay, I'm getting all into that. But like I said, we're going to say that for another time. So let's look at Psalms 119. First uh, verse we're going to read is uh, 18. Now, when we talk about illumination, it says, open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. And then the next one is 180. The teaching of your word gives light. So even the simple can understand. So the teaching of the word gives light. And that's what God wants to uh, give to you. He wants that power switch, that light switch to be turned on within you so that you receive the illumination from the Holy Spirit that lives within you. So if you receive this word, 
then bring it before the Lord and you say this, I receive this word that you have for me. I receive fresh understanding and the illumination that you may light up my path and that you may show me new things that I have not seen before. They may be words you've read before, but until you see it the way that God gives you the illumination, then it, it won't be the same. And so praise God for how he gives us that insight and understanding. So I love you guys. I pray that you have a wonderful day in the Lord and stay on the lookout for that next video that's going, going to talk a little bit more about numbers. All right. Bye-bye.